For today's first topic, the main subreddit for League of Legends, the moderators of that has been removing posts about this latest nerf. Just a few days ago, quite a lot of people noticed that they can no longer disenchant their icon and emote shards that they get from the esport capsules, so you can't get orange essence from them anymore. Some people made posts about this nerf on the main subreddit page, and a couple of them actually got removed. It could be due to spam or repeating topics, so I'm not sure what's happening here because that main reddit normally has a lot of repeating topics, like a fake farts or something there's normally 10 posts about it and none of them are getting removed so I'm not sure why they've taken posts down about these eSport drop nerfs. As for the nerf itself I think Riot have done this before and then reverted it back later. Sometimes when new eSport loot gets added to the reroll pool then they'll revert the nerf back from the older ones. So I'm not sure if it's temporary or it's another thing we can add to the long list of nerfs we've already seen this year. My advice is if you still have these icon shards and you do want to disenchant them hold on to them in case they revert the change. I wouldn't waste re-rolling them now. Unless you own all of them already, then you can just re-roll and then disenchant that new one you get. So it's just an extra step if you own all of them. Next up, as part of Lee Sin's update, a couple of his skins are getting their price increased. His traditional skin will go up a price tier and his dragon fist skin will also go up. So if you were planning on getting these skins, then get them before Lee Sin's update goes live on May 1st. Moving on, there was a blog post about Arena. There's a new UI design to make viewing other teams and what's going on a lot easier this time round. There's also going to be a new item tier called Prismatic and this Prismatic item can't actually be bought directly from the store. It'll be part of a new randomized shop feature called Anvil and this is a cheaper way to get items but it has that random element. Basically what Riot are trying to do here is randomize the build paths a little more because one of the common complaints with Last Arena was the meta got stale. Everyone was kind of building the same or picking the same champs whereas now hopefully it'll be a bit more random and you'll start to see some off meta builds like tank Yi or on hit bard things like that. Next up the Imperian skins got revealed and it was Varus who received the legendary skin this time and I'll play the preview for you here.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.